They that compare themselves with themselves are not wise. If God help you, buy her something. If you don't have it, you don't have it. Don't try to force yourself to do it by force. Because anything by force, by force can't stay. This is the reason why people enter unnecessary pressure. Go and even steal. When I was doing Remedia, there was one of these guys that is dating one of these ladies, they are twins. That in front of her, in Casino. Because I did my Remedia in Casino State. This guy will go and borrow clothes from his friend. He's dating one of these Alsa politician daughter. He'll go and borrow clothes from his friends and come and appear here just to impress the lady. One day, we were by, we have theater A, theater B. And one of his friends just came and started shouting at him. So, did I tell you to carry this shoe today? What, what, what? He was just shouting and, you know, we call it disgracing the guy. And the lady was just coming. And the guy didn't even know the lady was coming. When the lady heard how they are just disgracing the guy, she felt so bad. And this is a lady that her father is a politician with so much money in her account. She, didn't, she never knew that the guy was pretending. She never knew that the guy doesn't have a shoe. She never knew. And the guy is always trying to impress her. Because it's because it's our culture. Then you come out in the evening to sit with your girlfriend, you know, stands. So everybody will come and dress and put his best. It was bodo bodo. When they disgraced that guy, the lady got angry. She called him in the presence of the guy. She see. see you could have told me you don't have these things. See, I have enough of money. She took, and because I was an ATM close to the theater, she went and checked. That time, you know, that time, money has value. About 150,000 was in the account. She said, her father sent her 50,000 every, was it every month just to survive on the campus then. At that time, there is money. That time, money has value. 2010, 2009, I was there, 2009. She gave it the guy in the ATM. She said, from today, anything he want to buy, he should buy. Anything he want to buy, he should buy. Whether shoe, whether clothes, he should be buying it. But he should never come and be pretending to her what he doesn't have. She said, it's not his clothes she wants. It's not the shoe she wants. That is just him that she wants. A lady that truly loves you, sir, even if you don't have a clothes to wear, she still loves you. If you are loving because of Sancho's shoes, you are a thief. That is the truth. If your love is attached to anything, you are a thief. You are a gold digger, they call it. It's the truth. A lady that cannot love you like that is a problem. It's a very big problem. It's a very big, very big problem. From that very moment, that guy became a big guy on campus. Not now by Bolo Bolo now, but his lady was willing to support it. What am I trying to say? You don't need to try to impress anybody. Be the way you are. Let the person love you like that. Let the person let the person know you like that. It's more better than trying to invent one formula of how to please the person by force. This is the reason why many of you on Facebook we have never seen any of your natural picture. Everything is customized. Went to AI. One of my friends saw a lady on Facebook the day they decide to meet to, to meet physically. <laughs> Kyle Boba. When he saw her coming, eh? He called, Are you the one I'm seeing? He said, Yes. He took his way again. <laughs> say, Are you sure? She said, Yes. Say, I'm not available. <laughs> Put some of your natural picture, and let people see it. No, 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 no. Comparison is very bad. Stop comparing people. With people what i'm trying to say is that do your best to love each other but don't try to please anybody don't try to compare yourself with someone there are ladies that are privileged to be with guys that have certain level of resources they support them if you truly love somebody you cannot truly not give them it's not possible i'm telling you you can't if you truly love someone you must give them if you are not giving them you are giving to somebody else it's the truth your bestie is collecting it in the truth, that's why there are many guys they will never take their lady out but they will take their bestie out what does that tell you they are givers the guys are givers so just that somebody has been able to manipulate them you see the point many husbands they will never pay the school fees of their children but they'll be paying for another woman outside her children 
It's, it's a beautiful thing when you are the one they are paying for you. But the day you marry and the thing, the thing turn like this, you now understand the wickedness I'm saying. It's very wrong. Everybody submit to your own husband, to your own, to your own fiance, to your own guy. Please, let's not do all those kind of things. Is that okay? It's a major, major issue. Comparison. Okay. You see, before we lose all the point, the time is even gone. Another thing is unreasonable expectation. One of the things that break marriage and relationship and love is unreasonable expectation. Have you ever seen somebody that expects something unreasonable from you? See, let's tell ourselves the truth. If you are dating a lady that is blind, you know she is blind. It cannot change, at least for the moment. Must you force and force it that it must change? You are dating a guy that is disabled. Maybe the person is disabled to a point. You should program in your mind that this thing may not change. Why are you having the expectation that you want to bend that thing by force? No. It's called unreasonable expectation. Unreasonable expectation is yoking somebody with something that you know that naturally is beyond the person's capacity. For instance, you can wake up and tell your guy, see, my next birthday, you must buy me a car. The sincere truth is that, yes, it's possible. But at this point, you know that it doesn't look reasonable. Maybe this guy himself cannot even afford a car for himself. But you are yoking that he must do that. It's unreasonable expectation. Anytime you place an expectation beyond the person, you are not God. There are some ladies that say, me, I will not date anybody that is not a first class. Unreasonable expectation. Thought that can answer. Unreasonable. Are you like that? The same thing you are yoking somebody with you too, you are not qualified for it. I will not date a poor man. No. Are you a rich man yourself? Unreasonable expectation. It's true, I understand. Everybody should work on himself. But don't yoke somebody with a demand and expectation that even you yourself does not have. Because this is the reason why many ladies see men as stream of income. They see men as ATM car. Many people see men as an opportunity to escape poverty. In my family, we are poor. I'm just looking for a guy that will just deliver us. You're deliver. You're looking for a savior. Unreasonable expectation. Oh, my apostle now. The other day, I was asking them, jokingly. I said, but is it true that we must marry ladies that will pray for 10 hours, 30 hours? <laughs> Sir, if we check the thing, it's not. I mean, we'll stay long in market with because I see it as also part of a reasonable expectation. Because not every lady may be able to do that too. I'm telling you. So, of course, it's true that you should have an expectation. But let it be reasonable. Not something that is not reasonable at all. Or you will say you want to marry a guy that must sink like you. <laughs> they are going to cause me trouble. You see? I must marry a guy that must cook. May God frustrate that your agenda. I want to marry a man that can dance like this. Why? Eh? Please. Some of these expectations are not, they are not supposed to be. Is that okay? Unreasonable expectations. When you put an expectation that you know are not reasonable. Do you get the point? Most of these reasons make marriage and relationship fail. Because expectations... If they say access, bring what? Demand, right? Unfulfilled demands and expectations bring that. When you give people access, it brings demand and expectations. That is the reason why I want to appeal to our ladies. And to, you are in a relationship with a guy, you should understand that the guy is also going through things. He may not be able to provide all as you want, but see, when you put an expectation beyond the guy, he can run away. I know a guy that ran away. Do you know why he told me he's the one paying the school fees of all the, the lady and the entire family? <laughs> so he cannot do it. I said, then just talk to her. And I said, she will not understand. I said, wow. You see? Unreasonable expectation. Know the limit to which the person can do. Don't yoke the person. I have known many, how many marriages break. Why? Because of what the man has to be doing to the extended family and the rest. Please, let's reduce that. Another reason is lack of communication. Every relationship, love, marriage, without communication will break. 
I'm telling you, imagine you that used to talk every day, every day. Now, one day don't pass, two days don't pass, nobody cares. What do you think is happening? <laughs> you are breaking up, small, small. The fire is heating. Very soon, you hear, Brah. You that the guys call you morning, afternoon, evening, morning, afternoon, evening. Now, he missed morning breakfast. Do you know they this feed on communication? They feed on it. I'm telling you. And I don't know why guys don't even understand this secret. 